love the sketchbook. Now in 2019, so I've been doing my art for three years now. Maria Torres, the artist. I'm an alien. And are we twins? <laughs> Laugh at my own drawing sometimes. I think they cute. Houses upside down. So then even Spanish people would have wanted because it's also teaching their kids translation. I would like to color them, but I ran out of a lot of markers, so I don't just want to use the same color. Because I wanted to finish them and sell them. And this kept me together at one point. I had a roommate here once. He was very abusive towards me. And then I would forgive him again, you know? All you do is art, art. I said, it makes me happy. And that's what kept me together one day. Oh, it's this little boy in, in the neighborhood. He loves me so much. Um, his name is Pablo, and that's how he looks a little bit. And on holidays, they give me money, and then the grandfather gives it to him to give to me. Say, so give this to Maria all the time for my birthday, for Christmas. Um, he's bought me chocolates. He's bought me cards with money in it. You have abstract, you have landscape, you have almost everything. That's what's amazing about your art. This too, I like a lot. All the paintings I do now are way different than back then. This was 2017. See the different, oh, this I really love a lot. We all the same, rich, poor, tall, little, together we stand. I love the combination of how I put it together. Art is so amazing. I like this little house here like that, going this way. And the boat right there. When I was little, I loved blocks too. I like playing with those little blocks you put together. They, they get happy with the little things. Even I used to play when I was little with a piece of paper. And I start throwing it like a plane to my cousin and I that grew up together. And we played like that and it was fun. I, I feel sometimes like after nine years old, I've been a child ever since. So wanting that love from my mother. When I was doing it back then, I'm trying to remember, I was raised with my grandmother because my mom decided when I was a child, a baby, I don't know if it was, I was one or two years old, she told my grandmother for her to take care of me because she was coming here to New York. I thought my grandmother was my real mother, I called her mom. When I turned nine, my mom comes to Peru and she tells my grandma she's taking me away. It hit me completely, you know, because she said my grandmother was spoiling me. She wasn't teaching me how to bath. She wasn't teaching me manners, but my grandmother was awesome. That's why I have so much personality because very sensitive, caring, like me, loving. But a little bit on the inner side, I wasn't too well educated. She would spoil me a lot. She never scream at me. She never hit me. But when I came to this country at nine years old, my mom did the opposite. Like yell all the time, constantly hit me with belt, with brooms, abused me, because she wanted me to be perfect overnight. So I couldn't, because I wasn't used to this country. I'm still a little kid, she didn't understand that. I'm only nine years old. I was missing my grandma, I thought she was my mom. carrying the stuff and then with the pain in my knee. It's a lot of work. Because I've been through too much in my life. Growing up as a child in bad relationships. Bad choices of relationships, bad choices of roommates. Bad choices of a lot of things because of my low self-esteem of growing up being abused. So when I started, it wasn't because I wanted to be an artist. Or I believe I was good enough in art because I always didn't believe in myself. 
that I could do good art. I thought it was just a hobby and just for the hell of it, I didn't have confidence in doing it. Until one day I just sat in the staff, I got all my drawings in the closet. I just went and took out all my drawings, sold them for five, ten dollars in, in the sea, where I used to be. And I say I'm determined to make the sixty dollars to help somebody in my life. And that's how I began. So that's why I say I have a story to tell people. One of the guys in the store, he said, you should be ashamed selling your art here. What are you doing here? You're stupid selling your art here. He said, I said, really? I'm proud to do what I do, I told him. Then another day, now he feels ashamed when he sees me. He put his head down. He said, hi, Maria. I said, oh, now you're saying hello after the way you treated me. Because he's seeing how the other people are talking to me in the neighborhood. And now he's feeling it. God does not like ugly. He does. Everybody else is going to say that's not true. That knows me. Others might say, no, don't buy from that street girl. Look at her. She dressed like a bum. She got a cane. Who knows what she does in the building? Nobody knows her struggles. Even to this day, I'm going on 51 and I still deal with my mental illness because it doesn't go away. You have to live with it. But you cope with it. You understand? And not just have that, but I have bipolar disorder. I have anxiety, major depression, physical illness. I have sleep apnea. I have arthritis in both my knees, which makes it difficult for me to travel and sell my art all the places. And I still do it here. On my time, because people say, oh, why well, you don't go downtown? Oh, why well, you don't go here? I can't, I only could do baby stuff. It's a big accomplishment as it is that I did my art. I never in a million years thought I was gonna do it. And look at me now, I'm doing it. That's a big accomplishment. I could be in the street right now, but I didn't care. I was never afraid. Even now I'm not afraid to be homeless. Cause nobody could take away my heart. becoming successful or something, then you have to keep it up. Because I don't just do art so I don't have to struggle anymore. And I do art because I want to make other people happy as well and to love art because I think art is beautiful. And when I get there, then I'll be more happy even if it takes the rest of my life. Because I know people in my neighborhood are already starting to like art because of me. And they didn't like art. So it is working.